Yeah. Spock is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I just want all my legs to so. Right, okay, cool. Space kitty. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Talks with Hawks. My name is Hawks is Ripping. Today we have Spoke of Love. Of course, I have my little co-host, my little buddy, Kaze. Say Wagwan. Hi, guys. Wagwan. <laughs> Kaze is in desktop right now, and his mic's a bit buzzy, but don't mind him. He's cool. But we have Spoke of Love, and our Spoke is, uh, Fox a cat. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> Uh, Spork actually does a bit of singing on VR chat, and uh, you know what's crazy? I can't remember the first time I met Spork, but you were in the Astronaut Cat a long time ago, and you first were learning guitar, or, or was, mm. you were playing, and that was a long time. I think that was actually a year ago. I think I met you, I met you like yeah. a year ago. It's been a long time. <laughs> Just a little disclaimer, Spork, uh, we're, 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 not, we're not very PG on this interview. Okay, oh, yeah, no. I'll do my best. I'll try to keep up. Yeah, we're not going to repeat you all, but that, that, that's okay. Tell me, yes. where did you get your name from? It was not very thought out, because I earnestly, like, the first place I put it was in VR chat. And uh, it was just kind of a play on Spark of Love. Uh, and the fact that sporks are hilarious and also awesome. <laughs> and then I kept playing this game, so now I'm Spark of Love everywhere. It's very weird. Oh yeah, I forgot I like your, your your name means a spork is like a spoon fork, right? Yeah, yeah, it is. So you're a spoon fork. Because you know, yeah, yeah, like you know, when a when a when a spoon and a fork love each other very much, that's when sporks happen. Fair enough. I like it. I don't like the way you're looking at me. Finest. I want to slap your cheeks. Get it. No, you like that. I know. <laughs> 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 Woo! I can curse like a sailor! Fudge lickers! Boom! Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, super random question, Spork, which I ask a lot of the ladies. Uh, have you ever peed standing up? No, I, I don't think so. You've never attempted to stand up and pee? Like... No, I mean, like, no, 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 no. That's a weird question. I almost don't want to even answer it, but no. <laughs> you, you, so you're telling me you've never gone like camping and you, you don't have like, you know, like a little device where you just kind of hit pee for do, do you ever sit down and pee? Yeah. When we treat ourselves. Yeah, sometimes like you have like, <laughs> like a poop and a wee at the same time. So you just do both. Oh, yeah. no. It's kind of awkward. But... <laughs> I think now for a wee is a treat. Spock said I came to the wrong interview. <laughs> <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done? What was your first time of VR chat like? It was not very memorable, honestly. Um, I was running around just checking out a couple of different worlds with, uh, with Robot and like a couple of people. It was weird. There was a. There was nothing like memorable yeah. about it all. You just didn't care about your first time. No, I didn't even meet any Ugandan knuckles or anything. What? When did you start the game? I know. Uh, right around that, the time where the Ugandan knuckles were, like January, February last year, I think. Yeah, same. And you didn't run into any. Not the first time. No. <laughs> I think we we. We went with a friend who had already played VR chat and they were like showing us some neat worlds. So they were like set to private probably or something. I really, so like what, it wasn't very memorable. So what inspired you to come on the game in the first place then? <laughs> um, some, some people, cause we, uh, Robot and I are game developers and we have like a little small community. Yeah, game developer! Play the game with them. Yeah. 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 I thought I, I thought you knew that. I <laughs> never knew that. What the hell? <laughs> Wait, so, so like, you should hang you... out with me more. <laughs> um, well, we're an indie game dev company, and our specialty is making games that we like to play. <laughs> so we've uh, we made a game called Legend of Dungeon, which is on uh, it's on Steam. It's like a little uh, roguelike adventure game that you can play with up to four people. You can buy that now. And uh, you can yeah, push, 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 and you yeah. can like push your you could push yeah <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, it goes on sale often, actually, for like yeah, five Yeah, yeah, it goes on sale, all right? Yeah, yeah, right. So if you can't afford game. it, yeah, yeah, keep it in your wish list. And when it does go on sale, then you can buy it. All right, there you go. Sorry, there's your plugin. Right. Yeah. All right, there oh. you go. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, that, uh, what, what do you do specifically in development? Do you, like, do you animate or something? Or? Uh, so, yeah, my, my husband does all the programming because I can't do that to the point where I wouldn't just mess everything up. Um, and so I do a lot of the... 2D animation stuff and some character design, and we just literally designed the game together. Like we'll just sit down and have conversations and plot stuff out. Couple gold right there. In there. <laughs> you know what I think? Well, the game company's called Robot Loves Kitty, so Robot we're like Loves Kitty. That's really that's amazing. That's amazing. Cool, isn't it? <laughs> that's work. That, that, that's that's really like, shocks me. I times with a couple of viewers, and I that's nev- how I knew about this. I never, I <laughs> never ever knew that, that that about you. I thought you were just a single viewer. So I feel bad now. Yeah, no. I was like, I my good friend Spork. Very... Not very good friend, are you, Hawks? <laughs> it's okay, Spork. No, it's okay. That's what the future is for. Lot, it's true. Yeah, it's true. Get to know each other better. Yeah. See, this is why we're doing this right now. Get to know you more. Do. You... Do you believe in the pyramids uh, and the aliens have a close relation in terms of a conspiracy theory? That sounds like a really fun conspiracy theory. I aliens, love conspiracy apparently, theories. Case believes aliens built the pyramids. But, uh, I believe alien built, aliens built the pyramids. I think that's a really fun thing to believe, but I don't know that there's enough uh, proof. There's more of like this uh, overarching lack of proof that brings questions into place, and I feel like Religion, uh, religion is something that often comes from trying to fill in the gaps when you lack understanding, and I feel like a lot of a lot of that kind of thing fits into there as well. It's, it's really a very human thing to try to find reasons for things yeah, that yeah, don't yeah, quite yeah. make sense yet. Okay, that's that's such a pretty good answer. <laughs> yeah. That's a really good answer. I was expecting that, you know. No. <laughs> I was expecting that. I Did you know. join my cult? I'll join your cult. I'll join it. Do you want to look at my camera while I do that face? That face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why is one eye like... Why, why is one of your pu- pupils just lower than the other? It's kind of weird. Because I got my eye on you. Oh. <laughs> and how long have you been playing instruments? And how long have you been singing in VR chat? Okay, so... I could sort of answer all of those questions pretty quickly. Um... I'm the kind of person who oddly uneducated, I guess. Um, I like I just you were. <laughs> oddly I, I grew up I, I grew up singing to the radio. So I don't know if that counts as me b- singing, right? Like I just that's what I did. I just sang along to stuff. Um, and like a normal person, right? Uh, I don't know. Um, and I tried to learn the guitar uh, before I met my husband, and I got very distracted once I met him, though. So, and so oh, then I, I put it down. And so I guess I have like a couple months, technically, of having learned guitar before starting to learn it in VR chat. Right. But when I joined, like a month after I started playing VR chat, is when I actually started learning to play guitar, like for real, and uh, and singing. So VR chats. 100% responsible for me being where I am right now. And I love it. Spark, have you ever, have you ever been in a gang? In a gang? Yeah. <laughs> I've ever been in a gang? Why are you thinking about this? I, I feel like I was in a joke gang once, but I don't think oh. that really counts. Yes, well, I explain. Explain. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. It was a while ago, and I was in a video game. <laughs> we were a gang. Oh, oh yeah. shoot! No, it was like Power Rangers. It was a Power <laughs> Rangers gang in uh, in um, oh shoot, Grand Theft Auto. And I was just oh, a, yeah. I was just watching. It was mostly my husband. That's his fault. I was I was in a gang. Um, <laughs> yeah, my husband. <laughs> nope, I have never been in a gang. Thank you for making me think about that, though. I've never had to think about that before. <laughs> but have, you got any, have you got any hobbies outside VR chat, just in general, in your personal life? Anything else you like to do apart from singing and VR chatting? Um, there's a lot of things I like to do, but I just don't make time to do or have time to do. 
Um, I actually, I really like, um, oh man, these, so many things. I, uh, I've, uh, I've helped costume design some things before. I do a little bit of sewing. Uh, I know how to do stained glass. That's really fun. Um, I garden very poorly, though. Um, <laughs> so Spoke, I don't know if you remember first meeting me or meeting Kays, but if you do, have you got any first impressions of us? I don't actually completely remember how I met you both, because it was a long time ago <laughs> for both of you. Oh, jeez. First impression. Had a lot of the people. <laughs> yeah, I do. This is true. I throw myself into public worlds a lot, and it definitely makes my brains kind of scrambled eggs. But uh, I remember just thinking, case that you seemed really sweet, and and Hawks. Uh, not gonna lie, you kind of you, <laughs> you struck me as just like the type of uh, like a ladies' man, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I, I did a bit of horror. I think around. you were just like. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I think you hit on me the first time oh, no, 100%. we met. And I, I remember. And like, I, I like all the other, all the other people there as well. <laughs> I actually specifically remember one thing. I was like, I was hitting on you and then you were like, and you were like, oh, I have a husband. And I was like, well, he's not here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, I was like, not here. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I oh would God. believe that. Yeah, yeah, I'm a, I'm a ho. Oh, so good though. My first impression you spoke, you were lovely. You were lovely. You, you were down to earth. And you played music for everyone. It was so cute. And you're a cat. <laughs> <laughs> I love spoke so much. She's so innocent, I can't troll her. No! I can't do it to her. No. I, I really want to go like really bad because she's so, she's so sweet. I, no, we can't we do this. We intentionally ask stupid questions just to see what people say. Yeah. And we can't That's do fun. it. That's fun. You find you get to the core of someone really quick by doing that. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's true. That is true. We like to troll people. That's what we're here for. We can't troll you, Spoke. You're just too sweet. No, you can troll me. It's okay. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> Here's an interesting one. I don't really talk about this too much at all. Uh, I uh, I lived in a tree house for a couple years. In what? Vermont. Oh. Yep. What? Yep. We built it ourselves. We were basically hom hobos in a tree. <laughs> we were tree hobos. Wow. That's that's really cool, actually. <laughs> Random question. Where did you, like, piss and shit? We dug a oh. hole. And we oh put my. some old tires on it, and it screwed his toilet seat to the top tire. Did you? What did you do for like, um, like electricity and things like that? Did you have like a generator, or did you go without? For electricity, we actually we bought some broken um, solar panel cells, like the little black parts on the inside, and we wired them together ourselves. So you guys well, are clever, like... right? I think if some people yeah, like me and Kaiser right? to do that, it would would fail instantly. It would just become. Like literal hobos. In it, I just, I, I just like. We have no electricity. And, like, we wouldn't even know what to shit. We'd probably be using leaves to wipe our ass and stuff. Like legitimately, yeah. we wouldn't like. We wouldn't know what. Like we couldn't do that. That's that's because you guys are clever. Do you believe that the Earth is flat? Nope. Why not? Well, I don't hold any beliefs as best as I can. For one, as previously covered, uh, and also the probability of it being flat is so incredibly low based on the the number of people who are flat earthers and have done experiments to see if the earth is round. It's kind of crazy because me and... have proven uh, that the earth is round. Me, me and Kays, we believe in flat earth. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, yeah? Interesting. Yeah. Why is that? And, uh... Because if you look we... out your window... <laughs> we don't really. <laughs> we don't really. <laughs> I just want to see your reaction. You tried hard not to judge us. I know I spoke. You tried so hard. I know, right? Yeah. I tried. If, if someone said to me they were flat earth, I'd be like, what? You're, you're a <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning of life? There is no meaning of life. You make it yourself. You sit and you struggle and you, and you fret until you find a purpose. You have to give it to yourself. It doesn't get handed to you most of the time. That's a good ass answer. <laughs> right. like one it. one last thing guys before we we wrap it up okay and what i want to start doing is giving moral dilemmas to our guests so i'm gonna do that real <laughs> oh, quick no. i've got one on my phone okay all right okay you ready oh here we go, here <laughs> we go. Moral dilemma uh, okay 
<laughs> You're at your best friend's wedding. Right? Mm-hmm. Uh, an hour before the ceremony happens, you have definitive proof that the spouse to be is actually having a little affair with the maid of honor. Oh, I'll tell him. Right? <laughs> I don't even need to hear uh, the rest of the you... question. <laughs> You could let the you could let your best friend marry this person, or you could tell them and ruin their day. Yeah, I ruined their day. Heck yeah! Would you tell them? Who wants to have to? Yeah, I would totally tell them. I would tell them in a really careful Shit. way, but I would tell them because because as soon as as soon as you're married to that person, that doesn't make it easier to deal with. True, and, you, and, and you'll always know as well. What if your best friend like hates you for the rest of your life for, for like ruining their day? I would be okay with that. Fair enough. Like, if you're actually friends with somebody and you want the best for them, that's okay. I mean, it would suck, but I'd be okay with that. I Spork is one of my best friends. That's what I think. With that being said, thank you guys for watching Talks with Hawks. Uh, I'm not going to say the episode n uh, number because I don't know which order I'm going to be uploading these. But, with that being said, you guys can follow Spork on her social links. I'm going to put them on the description. Twitch. Twitter, Yay. all that stuff, all that jazz. Spork's cute as hell. So, yeah, you guys, you guys <laughs> definitely need to go go and follow Spork. You can also follow my co-host, Kaze, hey, who I failed to Hello. put his link in the description in the last video, so I might do that now after this recording. I completely forgot, but that's okay. Kaze, I love you. You know that, right? Write it in the comments, guys. Write yeah. it in the comments. Uh, But yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been amazing. Now okay, then, guys. now then, Spook. Mm. I want you to go on and roll on the carpet and make cute purring noises. <laughs> 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 <laughs>